Hi, yeah. Well, it's been a little while since we've had a blog. Sorry about that. Been uh, been very very busy recently, and uh, the old blogs have slipped. So, if you're a regular viewer, uh, apologies. I'm going to catch you up for a little bit of what's been happening very recently. Two competitions that I've been part of. Mainly, been fishing at Barston Lakes. I really really like Barston. The main lake there is a particular favourite of mine. It's not very deep. Three or four feet, uh, most of the lake, odd little bit that's a bit deeper. But generally speaking, it's ever so well uh, stocked with fish. Really, really good. And they're interesting fish to catch. Skimmers from 12 ounce to pound and a half. And then some bream, three, four pound. There's also lots of F1s for anything from a pound and a half up to probably seven pound. A colossal things. Um, and there's also hundreds and hundreds of carp. Now, the matches that we fish there, the first one is the pole pairs. Now, the pole pairs is really interesting. It's uh, a competition that Pole Fishing Magazine run. Preston Innovation sponsor it. It's pole only, and you um, have to fish with natural baits. You can't fish with pellets. So, I really like that because it encourages anglers to get bites where they're fishing. I think sometimes when you're fishing with pellets or corn or... Maybe a bomb's allowed. You might sit and wait for two or three big fish rather than trying to catch other fish in a very similar competitive environment to your neighbours. So personally, it's something I really enjoy. Uh, I fish with Frankie Giannicelli, uh, who is Preston's media man. Um, good friend of mine. Well, so I call him a friend. I suppose he's a friend, isn't he? Hey, But he's a good lad, is Frankie. I think he's had a really good year fishing really well at the moment. Uh, so I didn't want to let him down too much, which I tried not to do. In the first match we fished, I drew peg 47 at Barston. Had a lovely day's fishing. I caught 50 skimmers for £55 on the pole. I fished worms, casters, a little bit of joker in my feed. Really did enjoy it. Fishing with uh, light, light floats because there was no wind. Fishing with sort of eight hollow elastics. And just every fish you hook, just take your time, get them in. Really, really nice fishing. Frankie drew terribly, peg 88, and he had 40-odd, uh, mid-40 pound. We did really well, to be fair, but there was a couple of areas where anglers caught 80 and 90 pounds. So their and their partners went through. I think the winning pair on the day was Andy Power and John Harvey, I believe. So well done to them. Um, then we had another qualifier just this weekend gone. I drew terribly, peg 23, just in a little bit of a cutback, which um, before it, the lake goes out, which when it's pole only might be a bit difficult. I didn't catch anything for two hours. Obviously, those of you uh, know now that it's freezing, freezing cold this week, and it really did knock the fish. I could see uh, other anglers in my section catching really well. And I, to be honest, I, I probably didn't start in the right bait. I started with chop worms and casters. It was towing really strongly. I needed bigger floats. And I should have fished with baits like Bloodworm and Joker. So probably an error there. But I still feel I would have caught some fish rather than blanking. I did change the Bloodworm and Joker after about an hour and a half. And then after 30 minutes or so, I started to catch fish. And I finished with 19 pound 8 ounces, which was the second best weight in my section. Um, but it wasn't enough to go through. We missed that by 9 pound. Frankie Drew peg 90, not a great peg. Fished an excellent match and caught £39. Uh, it wasn't, it was sec I was second in his section, actually, as it happens. There was some uh, better peg on the point, caught 46. And we missed out on qualifying. So we've had a couple of close misses. Um, after we fished the pole uh, matches, we were on to a feeder match at Barston. Now, there's been a little bit of uh, interest in this, to be fair. It's the newly formed Feeder World Club Championships, which... Is, would allow two teams from each country that choose to enter to fish the World Feeder Club Championships in Spain. Now, I really enjoy feeder fishing, don't get me wrong. Uh, my uh, international ambitions are more float fishing related. However, a chance to fish with Barnes in my club in an international feeder match was quite exciting. International experience, uh, travelling, seeing the venues is, is great. Spain, a, this a uh, sort of ch channel in Valencia, lots of carp, sounds really exciting. So I thought, well, you know, be good. So we're in a little practice, figured a few things out. There was uh, some newly formed teams for the event. Uh, 
Telford, Preston Innovations sponsored Telford team and a Guru team were entered into the event. I think that uh, it's an interesting one with these teams because some people said, well, they didn't fish in any nationals and what have you. But my personal opinion is, I think any new teams that do want to form is, is a good thing for team fishing. So let's hope that they continue to fish all the events and I think that'll be a good thing. I think that, uh, you know, there was only seven teams entered the qualifier because of such the short notice on it. I think next year there'll be more like 20 teams entered. It's only teams of five. As long as you've got an affiliated club with the Angling Trust, you can enter a team, which is fantastic. So get Get yourselves on that for next year because if your team wins on the day, a team of five, you could be going to the World Feeder Club Champs, which I think a lot less preparation than that in terms of your tackle, so a lot less cost than a pole fishing one. I'm sure it's going to appeal to a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, the standard's still going to be excellent, so it's going to be really, really enjoyable competition. Anyway... Could we qualify? Well, it was going to be difficult, but after a little bit of practice, we fished the match. It was hard. I had £12.10, was third in my section. Phil Ringer was next to me and caught an £11 cup uh, after about 30 minutes. So that was that, over and done with, in terms of me beating Phil. And Adam Wakelin won my section from the top end, one, two, three, with an excellent catch of £23. So I was really pleased with third. You know, I beat some good anglers and I... I felt I fished a good match because I had this £12 of skimmers. I felt that I got me points. Well done to Phil for getting his carp out really good. But, you know, maybe I could have had him there if not. So I felt I didn't fish a million miles away from anglers that I really respect. So that was good. Then it was just a case of looking at the points. Now, amazingly, amazingly, Barnsley, Dorkin and the Preston Innovations Telford team tied on 17 points with Guru just one point behind on 18, okay? It meant it went down to weight. Preston Innovations had a big weight. Tommy Pickering won the match with 66 pound uh, of F1, so they were through with a big weight. Came down to us and Dorkin, and it was really close. Personally, I actually thought we'd just missed out at first, but then when we sat down and worked it out, we just snuck them by just under three pound. So... It was. I felt sorry for the Dorkin lads. I really like them and respect them as anglers. So it was a. It was one where we were really pleased to win. We didn't jump up and down and go, Larry, because the rivalry there's a lot of respect between the teams. So it was hard luck. I think if it had been a few more points, it might have been a bit different. But I think because it was so tight and it could have gone either way. I know Andy Power for us had one big F one with about five minutes remaining. Uh, about four pound. That one fish has done it for us. I'm sure they've had similar tails. So, you know, that is the way it went between us. We were delighted though. Myself, Alan Scotton, Andy Power, James Dent and Eddie Bryden were the team of five. And we were over the moon to be going to represent England in the World Feeder Club Champs along with Telford, um, in Preston Innovations Telford is going to be brilliant. I cannot wait to go. That's next April. Another event for the calendar. I'm really fortunate like I said before at the start of the blog, it's why I've been so busy of late. Um, so you can understand why it's been so hectic. But some winter blogs coming up for you. Get yourselves out there. Get yourselves doing a bit of fishing. That's caught you up with where I've been uh, recently. Uh, I have had a home international. I have had White Acres. I'm sure you've seen lots of coverage about them in previous events. So uh, uh, I'm not going to blog too much about them now. They've been and gone. But that's got you up to date. And I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks very much.